Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marin and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you some major updates coming from VW today because there is a lot of fights going on and they are pretty much afraid of Grünheide going into production because it will be a price competition here. Furthermore, we will look into the new battery cells because there's more major updates um, indicating that Tesla is making some major milestones here. So if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing and we will start right away now with some news from Germany with VW. So Mr. Dies, the CEO of Volkswagen actually um, made a meeting and in this meeting he indicated that they want to, um, yeah, pretty much change the factory in Wolfsburg, the main hub that they have, the pretty much the capital of Volkswagen. They want to change everything towards cars that are more tech and they want to do that in the production lines, etc. But as well, there are people inside VW that have been in talks and have really um, said that they are really getting into some hard price competition once Tesla is starting to do the production in Grünheide. And one of the reasons why they seem to be a bit afraid of this factory um, starting to produce cars is the production lines of Tesla are so efficient. It is already scary for VW. And yes, I might be overestimating that thing. But again, there are some numbers and I will name one for you right now which is in Zwickau, which is the smallest city in Germany, they are producing the ID3. And this is like a new production line. They are currently taking two full days, so 48 hours to produce that car. And if we compare that to China or Fremont, how long Tesla needs to build a Model 3, they take 10 hours to make from nothing a Model 3. So just take that into consideration. That is like the one fifth of the time that VW currently at the current production rate is taking to build a car. And this is the reason why Tesla is leading, not when it's only coming to the quality or the design or the tech that is inside the car or when it comes to batteries, but it's also about efficiency and cost efficiency when it comes to production. And this is the reason why, why VW is currently very scared. It seems like that. I'm not making it up. This meeting that was supposed to be a meeting looking forward and just like um, motivating the people um, seem to be a meeting where people are more scared of what's happening um, in Germany once Tesla starts producing here. And in Norway, we do see that Tesla Model Y is the best selling car in September, followed by the Model 3. The interesting thing here is when you take Volkswagen itself, they are far behind. If you take Volkswagen as a group, which is Audi and other companies being part of Volkswagen, um, then Volkswagen is pretty much on the same level as Tesla. But this is crazy. You take the entire Volkswagen group and they are just selling as much cars as the Model Y and the Model 3, which are two models. So that is pretty crazy. Looking at the site that you're just seeing here in China, we know from Vuva that this is currently at the current information, um, no um, expansion of Tesla in China. This is some other part of some other person's owned um, land. So it doesn't really indicate that Tesla is expanding here in China at this moment. The good news that you see over here is that the parking space is pretty much empty. And this is really great news for the results that we are looking for in Q3. Furthermore, there are indications um, that all, not all ships that were exporting cars to Europe actually reached the customers on time. So I would say 250, 250,000 is the bull case here. Um, but 230, I think, will be the number we see because there are still a lot of cars on transport to Europe. Looking into China, we have as well VW having a lot of issues here. And there was a survey that the survey actually indicating that people prefer um, brands like Tesla. They prefer 
brands like Chinese brands that are startups like Neo, Jipang and others. So um, VW having a lot of issues over here. And now we are going to look into the battery that I promised you because there are some more major milestones. Not only have we seen um, an increase in range for the Model Y long range by 60 kilometers from China and the performance by 40 kilometers that are indicating that new batteries are already or better performing batteries are inside the Model Y currently produced in China. <clears throat> we also have updates to the new batteries in um, United States and we are talking about the 4681 and so we have to talk about that because I was indicating in, a, in another video before um, that they are hiring but what we have now is more information that indicate that they are currently producing at Cather Road in a profitable way. So that would be a major milestone because the yield seems to be that high that they are still already able to make a profit from the batteries and this would be the milestone they need to start producing at mass production and furthermore um, there's some indication that they are currently planning to produce batteries in, a, um, in Austin and Grünheide on a capacity for 500,000 cars. Of course this is the first stage and we will see further improvement by time but this is what they are planning on. And all the equipment for Austin and Grünheide of course are already ordered. So we do see that here when we have the equipment being um, already arriving here in Austin going inside the um, production line for the batteries. So what this means is that they had this milestone, they can take this um, information, the experience they have from Cather Road straight into Austin here being uh, I guess the first factory starting to produce cars um, before Giga Berlin. We don't know that by sure yet, uh, for sure yet. So we have the major milestone, just to repeat that, yes they make a profit on it and this um, will have um, the possibility of ramping up the production massively um, into next year or already in the beginning of this year. This is also good news for the Cybertruck, this is good news for the Semi and of course for the Model Y starting to be produced here in Austin and Grünheide very soon. We have no information yet how low the production cost could be. Um, this is something we will see by time when once the um, batteries are taking over in the total production. So I think this is great news that we are dealing with here and this is um, the, just the beginning of what we could see happening next year. And I think next year um, not the um, number of cars produced will be the focus. It will be more like the um, productions like of the Cybertruck, the same are coming into play, the new battery cells going into mass production and of course Grünheide and Austin ramping up. These will be the focuses for next year. And I'm really excited to have you all with me with that. And so I wish you all a wonderful weekend. Take care guys and thank you for being here. Thank you very much.